Hey everybody, it's your old pal Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences, bringing you another Monday Minutes fresh from the trail of Christmas Expo 2023 in Lexington, Kentucky, and uh, a bit jet lagged. Uh, yeah, we had 24 hours of travel yesterday, uh, not by choice, but uh, we got through it and we're home and we're happy and super excited that we came from yet another great Christmas Expo and... Uh, I always take new things aw away from these shows that I learn. So when you teach, you also learn. You're presented new questions and you talk to various people. And one of the things that I've been wanting to talk about are scripts, x lights scripts, and what these might mean to you as an enthusiast, whether it's your first year or you've been going seven, eight, nine, ten years, I think some of these new features of x lights can be very beneficial. I heard a lot of horror stories over this last week from my classes and at the exhibit hall of people losing files or concerned about moving from one show to the other. And I've done other videos about bringing in models from other shows, show folders to expedite the processing of bringing in the uh, models, submodel groups, model groups, groups, and uh, making that a bit easier. And I think my classes were pleasantly surprised that there are easier ways of achieving as results uh, in X lights. You just have to know where to look and what they are and, and the hows and the whys. And so I'm going to talk about some uh, hows and whys today with these scripts. There are two main components that uh, one is a nice to have, the other is a must have. If you're ever worried about losing uh, your show, your timings, your effects, uh, everything about that, the DNA of your show, which is the x Lights RGB effects file, the networking files, or any key bindings that you might have set up, which are basically custom shortcuts uh, in x Lights, you're going to want to do this. And this is something I'm going to recommend that everybody do each and every year for every show you have so that you have a safe backup of your files. This is something I've been doing for years. I never really looked at them as backups, but that's exactly what they are. And these are packaged uh, files, packaged shows or packaged sequences. The x Lights gives you the ability to export everything about that sequence and tuck it away. And you could always bring it back. A lot of people have changed their computers and they neglected to think about, uh, I have a C drive, now it's a D drive, or it's an E drive, or all my stuff used to be over there and now it's not. And we talk about the file cleanup, which is this thing over here. So when you have a sequence open, you're going to go to your uh, tools, uh, file, uh, <laughs> cleanup file locations, which is going to ensure that it brings over your images, videos, and shaders. When you import from the zip, it's already going to bring over your images and your videos and your shaders. It doesn't bring over the music. So if you are pulling your music from somewhere else on your computer and you're afraid that you could lose it, well, hopefully you can download it again from Amazon because you should have paid for it or iTunes. And, but it does keep it all in the same show folder, which is what I teach and preach. The one you may not be aware of that I really want you to pay attention to um, is this Tools Run Scripts. It's right here. Tools Run Scripts. And maybe you've never seen it. Maybe you've never clicked on it. And when you click on this, it's going to bring up uh, some choices that we have here. This is Run Scripts. And there are currently three choices on here. Two of these I'm able to make work and know exactly what they do. The one that is selected right here, this batch render export model, I'm not really getting that to do too much uh, on this side. So I've, I've, I put a request, request out there like, you know, how in the heck does this thing work? But the one that I really want you to pay attention to is this one right here, this batch package sequences. When you're done with your show and it's getting toward the end of your show and you're, you know, just before you start tearing down your show, this is a really good thing to run as long as you have no more changes to make to your sequence and that you have used file cleanup and that you have your images, videos, and shaders in your show directory. Or if you're an advanced user, you know where they're at and you've purposely pointed to other locations. 
You also want to have your music in a very specific location. That's where File Cleanup can help you out. And when we click on this and select Run, it's going to search in your show directory. Now, if your show directory is somewhere else, you could use recursive search and any and everywhere you may have your uh, sequences, you can go find those. And what's nice about this is you can select the sequences you want, as many as you like, and I'm just gonna do one, and I'm gonna click OK if I bring this up at the bottom. Again, you could do as many as you like. Click OK, and then what this is going to do is it's going to package a sequence so that you get a zip file. Now it's gonna open it, it's gonna render it, it's gonna save it. The one thing I would love to see added to this, and I don't believe it does it, is have it automatically include the uh, file cleanup in the tools. That would be something pretty special, and I don't believe it does that unless I'm wrong. So that has packaged the sequence. Now, it will have put that packaged sequence most likely in your show directory. And I'll pull mine over here, and you can see right here, here's Happily Ever After. I'm gonna drag this to my desktop for a second because I want you to see what's inside of this. So Happily Ever After, if I unpack this, you're gonna see that you have, if you're using 3D, here's all my 3D stuff, the mesh, images, music, Look at that, there's my music. Here's all my images. Here's all of the shaders. And here's all of the video content in this sequence. Here's my main file, the XSQ for the sequence, my networks and my RGB effects. I could take this folder to any computer in the world running Windows or Mac or Linux, and I could open up my show and I could be up and running. I implore you to do this with every one of your sequences when you're near the end of your season and put them in a safe place. If you spent a lot of time sequencing, you spent a lot of time mapping files, if you're doing your own sequences or buying other people's sequences, does it really matter? Chances are you have put some dedicated time and effort into your sequences for your show don't get caught with your shorts down and lose it just because a hard drive failed or you didn't have a backup or your computer was stolen or you changed your show so much and sort of mucked it up and now it's a hot mess and you just wish you had your original stuff back to work from. This is a very, very simple way of creating a wonderful backup, okay? So that's the most important thing. Just, just the most important thing is this batch package sequence. The next one that's kind of neat, if you like taking your x Light shows and outputting to a video file and putting them up into Vimeo or YouTube, uh, you can do that from here. It's a batch video export. It does something similar. It's gonna ask you, what do you wanna uh, batch export? And just make sure make sure that you have the screen sized. If I don't have the screen size filling up my monitor, it might be a low resolution. So well, let's see what it does with Happily Ever After because I believe the screen size on here is sitting right like this. So I'm curious to see what re resolution this might be. So I'm gonna click OK. And what's it gonna do? It's gonna open up Happily Ever After. And my concern is and maybe I'm wrong, it's going to render this, it's going to save it, and then it's going to export the house preview for the sequence. If it's not built into this process, I would love for there to be a choice you could make, which would be a standard of a resolution. I want uh, 1920 by 1080, or to choose maybe a couple of options that will try to give the best resolution, because right now, it's gonna use the resolution of what I'm seeing on the screen, and it might be a little bit too low. This is something a lot of sequencers will do because they need to put their uh, products up on the pages for you to make informed choices. Do you want to buy the sequence? If you are a DIYer, a residential show, 
you may not do this anyway. You're probably gonna wanna have a drone or a good camera and grab that live footage, which always in my mind is uh, a lot more fun to capture and share with friends and family. As you can see here, it is exporting this video. And uh, I'm, I'm curious to see what size this is going to be. Uh, and maybe, I don't know, maybe it already has uh, something built into it to get the best resolution. I seem to recall hearing Dan talk about this, and I just can't remember if this was something built in. Certainly, when you do this manually and you go to File, Export House Preview, you absolutely want to resize your house preview. That will dictate the resolution that your final output will be. And I'm pretty sure this exporting process here through the scripts is going to put it in the show directory. So that's done now. We can move this out of the way. We can open this back up. And now we have MP4. So moment of truth, it's 400 megabytes. Let's see what size this is. If I go to get info, what will this tell me? Looks like we're looking at 13, 12 by 5, 5 542. Not exactly HD. Uh, would it still look good? Probably it will scale. There's a lot of compression in YouTube. Uh, once you put it up there or most places you might put video. So uh, you might want to consider before you output that is in here, maybe uh, create something like this and then do your batch with the scripts. And that will have gone behind here, I'm sure, yes. So I would be careful, make sure this is on the screen. And you could resize this if you don't want the, the width on or the edges on the sides to be there. And then run this, the batch video, and then choose this and it will export it again, but I think probably with better resolution. Let's find out if I'm wrong with this. If you know that it's not that way, drop a line in the comments. By the way, uh, thanks for hanging out and watching uh, these Monday Minutes. I received a lot of feedback uh, at Christmas Expo for people that are finding a lot of benefit from these uh, tutorials. So I, I will definitely keep doing these and I have a lot of ideas of new tutorials I want to do based on the classes I gave at this event in Kentucky as well as the conversations I have with numerous people there. Uh, please like the video if it's been helpful. Subscribe if you'd like to. That would be wonderful. And we will catch you again very soon. This is Ron. This is Monday Minutes. See ya.